the passing here. And as you can tell, to emulate the one billion Chinese, Lori's pregnant now. Okay, so this next tape, this is about, this is in September. I think the last one we did was in May or June. Okay, now it's September. We're still going to do, we're going to finally leave that lousy city of Beijing. We're going to say goodbye to the hotel staff, and we're going to go on a quick tour of one of the local stores. Then we're going to go into the People's Paradise. Then we're going to go off to the Temple of Heaven, or Ten Tan Temple. What's it called? Ten Tan? Yes. Just Tian Tan, I guess that means Temple of Heaven, which is really pretty, one of the most beautiful things that was recommended by a French engineer I met. So we go there, and then we head off to Shanghai. Go ahead, Laurie. <laughs> so, first we show a view of the Shanghai Harbor from our hotel room, then some street scenes in Shanghai, and then we finally end up with a tour we took of Yuan Garden in Shanghai. Oh, and this is a, I bought this at the Great Wall Hotel for $267. It's a t-shirt, says, says the Great Wall there. Ni hao. <laughs> Shopping drag here. Oh, I just bought a silk shirt for $3. We bought it in this store. It's a famous store from before the revolution. Pray for the good harvest. Once a year he'd leave the forbidden city with all its nobles and elephant-drawn chariots and they'd come out here. And all the commoners had to hide in their house because they weren't allowed to view the imperial procession. Then he would come here and pray. And if anything came, like anything went wrong, like he tripped on his robe or anything like that, it would mean they'd have a bad harvest. The great and glorious temple of heaven. This, this courtyard is square, representing earth, because they believed earth was square. And the temple itself is round because heaven is round. capitalism. It's invaded, it's invaded. It is gorgeous. Five meters in diameter. And apparently, if one per, at one end you can just whisper, and the person at the other end on the wall can hear you. That's what all these people are doing. They're checking out this thing. Now, what we've done here 
as Laura's gone to the opposite end, and she's going to slowly walk closer, whispering and whispering so until we can pick her up. Let's see how so she's doing high. now. Yes, yes, I, I think I hear her now. Yes, I wonder how close she is. Wait a second. Whoa! Whoa! That's good, Lori. Real good. Oi. A little too premature and disbelieving about this ma amazing structure because I think it does work. See where Lori is? We'll zoom in real quick. You can see that it is my lovely wife. Now, I'm going to have her say something. We'll see if you can hear it. Okay, go ahead. Talk louder. Hi, Mike. How are you? Okay, I don't know if you heard that, but I'm gonna so I'm gonna put the mic right up. He represents heaven. I mean earth, which is square, then the round area inside is round courtyard is heaven. Now this altar is where they actually made the sacrifices for the good harvest, the offerings. So first we have the bottom layer represents man, made of nine rings of stone. Then comes earth, the middle layer, nine rings of stone. Then comes lari, which represents heaven. <laughs> Now then comes the upper layer, nine rings of stone where in the offering in the middle. The reason there's a big crowd in the middle is they say if you stand in the very, very center stone and speak, your voice comes back very loud, which is probably due to the circular nature. Sometimes go out, strike the stone and come back, but I don't think it'll work when you're surrounded by 8,000 Chinese people. Each, each layer of stone is a multiple of nine. There's a first one is nine stones, then 18, then 27, 36. Etc. Etc. All the way down to the bottom, bottom Earth zone, which is 27 times 9, which whatever that is, and I think it's 243. Also, everything else is a multiple of three, like these uh, p these uh, pillars and the uh, stair steps, etc. We're just running out of time. Good thing, because this is the end of the park. So I'll take it. There's the altar. There's the temple of the ancestors and then finally way off in the distance is the heaven temple. Shanghai, Paris of Asia, Babylon of the East, or of China. Well that's what it used to be. This hotel, we were lucky enough to get a suite here last night for the mere pittance of 110 US dollars or 330 UN. It's got a nice bedroom, quasi-western, with almost war almost hot water. Bedroom. I'll follow Laurie here. Little studio area. Complete with Jing Xing television made right here in Shanghai. For a mere twenty-five bucks a night though for the last four nights here. Thank you. Bye click. This is Lori crying because she's having a bad time in China. They like to drive fast.